everybody. I'm Charlie Cummins. I own Phoenix Masonry Training Center right here in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. And we teach people how to lay brick, block, and stone. Here's how you can get a hold of me. There's my phone number, my email address. Today, what we're going to talk about is never, never, never touch the line with your thumb when you're laying a brick, okay? Now, the reason you never touch the line when you're laying brick is because it will get you fired in a heartbeat. You cannot touch the line with your thumb, okay? Now, so that you understand why you get fired, I'm going to explain it to you. Let's say you're working a wall, it's 80 feet long, you got four brick layers. They're all land brick. Everybody's going like crazy. But all of them know that you touch the line from time to time. Because whenever they go to make the final adjustment, it moves. And they have to look. So then, when they know that there's somebody, one of the four, is touching the line with their thumb, then the other three bricklayers, every time they go to lay the brick, they got to look to see if you're on the line. It slows everybody down. The contractor or the foreman will fire you. I don't care if you're the fastest bricklayer on the wall. If you're thumbing the line, you will get fired. It's that important, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you how I learned never to touch the line, okay? I'm 19 years old in Dallas, Texas, and they put me with the honorest, meanest bricklayer in Dallas. He comes from uh, three generations. His great-granddaddy uh, moved to Dallas in like uh, 1880 or 90. They were all bricklayers. They were all contractors. They built half of Dallas, okay? Marvin... Uh, in 1965, Marvin was about 55 years old. That's when I thought 55 years old was old, because I'm 19. Well, Marvin was a war hero from World War II. He won a Silver Star. He got shot up, Purple Hearts, and all this kind of stuff. And when he came back, he was, he was contracting. And... He had a drinking problem. This was before the PTSD or whatever. In other words, uh, they call it shell-shocked back then or crazy or whatever. Well, Marvin, uh, he got into, you know, he's back into contracting. He's doing real good. He's got the best bricklayers in Dallas working for him. He's got a big outfit going and everything else. Well, Marvin had a problem. He drank a whole lot and everything else. And... Uh, Everybody liked him and was scared of him because he was mean, okay? Uh, he, he liked to fight. He'd take, take on four or five people at one time, all right? Well, Marvin, uh, he tried to drown his wife in a swim in a bathtub, okay? So they sent him to Wichita Falls. If you're from Texas, you know what Wichita Falls is. Well, he was in there for about six or eight months and when he came out, he decided he didn't want to contract anymore. And him and his wife stayed together. And so Marvin was working on uh, several of the jobs that I was working with. And Marvin always said, I want the boy. Boy goes with me. The kid goes with me. Because I'm left-handed. He's right-handed. And if you're a bricklayer, uh, when a left and a right-handed people are working together, it works it works real good. And I was good enough where Marvin wanted to work with me. So we're laying brick, going on and everything else. Now Marvin, he had a little, one of these little French mustaches, little thin line mustache, you know. So we're working and all of a sudden Marvin said, hey kid, come here, come here. I looked at him and he said, hold your hand up like this. Hold your hand up like this. And I said, Okay, whatever, you know, what, what do you do? You know, I didn't know what he was talking about, but I did what he said because I knew his reputation. Marvin, he grabs my thumb and he twisted it like this. I'm on my knees 
he's holding my thumb. He got right in my face. I mean, right in my face. And he said, son, if you touch the line again with this blankety-blank, blankety-blank thumb of yours, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to rip it off your blankety-blank hand. And he's still squeezing, pushing pressure on me. He said, do you understand, boy? Yes, sir, I understand. So that's how I learned never to touch the line. Every time, sometimes you got to touch the line. But I've never, since I was 19 years old, I've never touched the line that I didn't think of Marvin. That's the way you learn. Never, never, never touch that line. All right, let's see. Uh, no. That's about it. I want y'all to know that uh, we train people. We teach men and women to lay brick, block, and stone. We start students every day. You move at your own pace. It's going to take you 250 or 300 hours of hands-on training to finish our Master Mason course. And uh, whenever you finish our Master Mason course, you'll be able to lay 150 brick in an hour. You'll be able to lay 50 block in an hour. You will be able to build all your corners and leads and everything else. And you build a two foot square brick chimney or pier. And you lay a hundred brick in two hours or less. And you lay 24 block building the same size pier in an uh, hour and a half. When you can do that, you demand top pay on any masonry crew anywhere in the world. We also, I want you to know, we work with employment staffing companies that can get you a job anywhere, and I mean anywhere in the United States that you want to work, including Puerto Rico, Guam, Alaska, Hawaii, the Virgin Islands, etc. Anywhere you want to go to work, the employment staffing companies can get you working with a good crew. And they're going to see that you make top dollar. Now, why would an employment staffing company care if you make top dollar? Very simple. The more money you make, the more money they make. So, if you want more information, uh, get in touch with us. Subscribe to this uh, deal. Give us uh, your name and we'll, we'll, we'll call you or you call us. And uh, we're also talking to people. Uh, about opening up some other schools. We're talking to contractors and uh, investors about opening up some more brick laying, block laying training centers in the United States. So we may have one that's closer to you and you wouldn't have to come to Phoenix. Also, we're working and we're getting real close to uh, coming up with a kind of a home study course to where you can take some of the course in the comfort of your own home and then just come to Phoenix for one or two weeks instead of say ten weeks okay so keep in touch with us if you're wanting to learn how to lay brick block and stone uh, that's pretty much oh if you call me or subscribe or whatever we're giving everybody a free book called the secret of squaring up I've been selling that book for 20 years for 29 to 39 for 59 dollars I'm going to give it to you for free so if you want the free book the secret of squaring up buildings then ask and you shall receive that's it thank you for watching goodbye